So this video is for all of you guys who wanted to know what I feed my macaw. Um, so on a daily basis, what he gets is a handful of regular pellets and fruit flavored pellets and the brand is totally slipping my mind right now. I'll put it in the comments. Um, tablespoon of raw Spanish peanuts and a tablespoon of this mix that I've created. And what is in this mix is dried pineapple, banana chips, raw cashews, dried papaya and cantaloupe spears, dried apricot, dried pear, raw, pi eh, raw pumpkin seeds, coconut flakes, Cheerios, and Brazil nuts. So what I've done, um, if you can, um, the, for the dried fruit, a lot of them have a lot of sugar in them. And sometimes you can find the low sugar or sugar-free. Well, I, I don't quite trust the sugar-free, but if you can find the low sugar, great. If you can't, um, you can do what I'm doing here, which is cutting them up into small pieces. So your bird gets a taste, but not an overload of sugar each day. Um, so I think this is pineapple. And the spears come in larger sizes like this, and then I just take kitchen shears and cut them up into little chunks, like about maybe that big, and then I mix it all in. Um, the cashews come in pieces like this already. You can buy whole ones, but it's a lot more expensive. Um, there's Cheerios, and uh, the banana chips come whole. I just break it between my fingers, and it just comes apart really easy. Um, I have found low sugar banana chips in the past, but this time I wasn't able to. Um, so this is kind of what everything looks like pre-mixed. And the Brazil nuts here, I do also cut those up. And why don't I just give them to him in the shell? It's because he's a lazy bum and he can't be bothered to crack up in the shell. And he just gets mad and throws them on the floor. So that's why I do that. Um, he loves them otherwise. And so here's everything else. For prices, um, the pellets, I buy them in three and three and a half pound bags. Why they differentiate them, I really don't know. Um, but it runs just under $30, and that will last four months. So these are the containers I keep them in. You can find these at Asian food stores, and they hold jellies. So I think... In I think it's like a um, agar jelly treat or something, um, and then you can find other little snack containers there, and it's great for holding all sorts of treats and goodies. Um, so this is about half the quantity of the bags left here, and what might help you for budgeting is I have this little paper here, and what I've done is I write down the date that I dump the food into the container and so each time I do that I get a general idea of how long the food lasts. So the first list you see here, because I started him on this food, um, so that lasted about two months each go and then I added in this one and it's starting to last a little longer but it gives him that variety that he likes because originally he was eating just this and there were folks on the boards and forums around saying that they preferred the veggie mix because the amount of food coloring in the fruit flavor colored their poop and so it was a lot harder to monitor whether there was blood in their feces or not. So it's kind of up to you. Um, the reason why I mix it is because that way he still gets that taste, but it's not so much that it changes his poop on a poop color on a regular basis, so I can still see what's going on. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a second video on treats.